Hello, I'm Ethan Overs to the Cataflex Closing Bell. Today's Cataflex Closing Bell is sponsored by Zoetis. Stock operators have one goal, more pounds from their available forage. An Oklahoma Challenge study showed Cinevex 1 grass extended duration implants outgained the competition with 20 additional pounds per head over 200 days of grazing. Get more pounds from your forage. Learn more at growwithcinevex.com. Do not use Cinevex products in veal calves. Refer to the label for complete directions for use, precautions, and warnings. With the supply of feeder cattle and calves outside of feed yards 600,000 head lower to start the year, it is not surprising that feeder cattle and calf receipts through the first quarter of the year are also lower. Through the first week of April, feeder cattle and calf receipts through auction barns, video sales, and direct trade are down 580,000 head year to date compared to last year. A majority of this decline has occurred in auction barns when a majority of the cattle moved through that are sold during this time frame. Direct receipts also played a large role in the difference with year-ago levels as one large direct trade week in 2017 alone accounts for 76,000 head difference compared to 2018 levels. If we break the data down further, the majority of the kind of receipts is in the form of feeder cattle or heavier calves. Animals weighing over 600 pounds have seen receipts dip below year-ago levels by 370,000 head. One of the main factors in this number being lower was the incentive to place cattle in feed yards in the fourth quarter of 2017. With the impulsive market run in the live cattle cash market and futures markets, the incentive was very strong to place cattle into feed yards instead of extending ownership of those cattle. Another factor was the lack of wheat pasture and a poor outlook for precipitation through the winter. Without a positive winter wheat outlook combined with an incentive to place cattle in the feed yards instead, limits the supply for first quarter cattle in 2018. Placements in the fourth quarter of 2017 were nearly 500,000 head larger than the fourth quarter of 2016. Receipts of lighter weight animals are closer to even with year ago levels, but are still down 200,000 head compared to last year. Once again, the incentive to sell calves in the fall has played a role in this decline. Heifers as a percentage of receipts is trending above year ago levels and closer again to stabilization type levels than expansion levels. We're also seeing a reflection of this data and the percent of heifers placed relative to the last several years. So what effect does this have on placement number through the placement number through the remainder of the spring? Currently, Cattlefax's placement estimate for March is down 11% compared to year-ago levels. Cattlefax expects this trend to continue this spring and early summer, showing smaller placements and a smaller place against supply for fed cattle later in 2018. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefax.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real. The volatility is extreme. The risks are big, but the opportunities for success are there. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 50 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective. Our vision is global. Our focus is you. We provide a direct line of contact with you, our client, to the Cattle Facts team. With our daily updated website, modernized mobile app, or the traditional phone conversation. Cattlefax, the deciding factor. Become a member at cattlefax.com.